Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Dom and today we're gonna be doing a little bit of like a Sunday reset. Y'all know like on Saturdays or Sundays at like 8 a.m. the crack of dawn when your mom will be waking you up in the morning so you can clean up the house. Yeah, it's that kind of video. But don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video with your friends and your family so you can get everybody motivated and up and ready to clean their house. So we're gonna start off in the guest bathroom and this is usually the bathroom that my son takes all his baths in. So right now you see me getting all the toys and all that kind of stuff out of the bathtub so I can actually clean it. And I know I'm not the only one that don't clean their bathtub every single night, especially after a really long day. So I try to at least do it like at least two to three times a week because sometimes it can definitely be a lot, especially with a toddler and you trying to keep that, you know, bedtime routine going. So of course with kids, obviously you know you're not gonna be able to clean your entire house for three to four hours straight without any distractions. So of course my son got hungry, so I made him a little pizza um, in between like me cleaning up and stuff and <laughs> looking at him over there just waiting for me to get over there to give him his pizza. Like that is one child that knows what he wants when he wants it, okay? So now moving on to the floors and this is something that I have to do at least once a day, especially when my child gets out of the tub because he wants to put water everywhere. So I try not to even put bath rugs in my bathrooms anymore. Um, just because like they get all mildewy and smelly and stuff like that. So I just don't put bath rugs right where he gets out of the bathtub anymore. I usually put down a towel and I just rewash the towels because I don't want to damage, you know, my bath rugs anymore. So yeah, so now I'm about to take the trash out um, and that usually doesn't get refilled until every Sunday because we really don't be having guests over here like that. So um, the trash doesn't get as full. Now on to using my absolute favorite product in my house right now. It is our Shark Back Mop. And when I tell y'all this has been a lifesaver, especially for people who have hardwood floors. And so it's actually a vacuum and a mop in one, which is amazing. So since I do have white cabinets all over my house, I definitely take the time to wipe down my cabinets every single week. That way it stays white and stays clean. So now we're cleaning the mirror and I don't know who put these screws behind my mirror but literally one little touch in the mirror, the whole entire mirror moves. So that's why you see me holding the mirror on the side of it. So bad. Why you wanna play so bad? 
Why you wanna play so bad? Why you wanna play so bad? So of course the babe is there to help always so he's actually doing the laundry right now and sometimes i gotta get on to him because he don't be caring what be going in the laundry like he'll put the whites and the blacks and the blues and the oranges all in one little one little wash like i'd be like babe you you can't do that so you see me right there behind the camera assisting him <laughs> to make sure that he's doing what he's supposed to be doing and where we keep our towels is like literally right there by the washer and the dryer so he's folding up the towels right now and placing it on the shelf so now it's time to move on to the master bathroom and this is actually my favorite part to do because it is so satisfying because this is the most used bathroom in the house so it does get dirty very very quickly and very cluttered and don't judge me for putting Lysol in the shower we actually ran out of scrub bubbles but that is definitely what I would be using this is also another great cleaning device to have. Mine actually wasn't fully charged, so I had to manually scrub, but it still works really, really good. That way you don't have to get down on your hands and your knees, child, and you can just, you know, let it do what it do. shower this is the most crucial part of your shower because it gets the most dirtiest like i hate this part of the shower because literally you can clean it yesterday and it'll be dirty today and that annoys me real bad you can't even send bees so even though I do use my squeegee almost every day, it is still very important to manually clean your glass with, you know, window cleaner and a paper towel that works the best. But honestly, I need to get something for the very, very bottom of my, um, my shower window. Um, I don't know why, but it just has like those little like watermarks or whatever, and I'm not sure how to get that out. So if you know how to do that, please let me know in the comments.
The 10,000 building, get your ass an apartment, put you inside a G class. That's just a start. It can plenty things kind of life, but none of them is the thought of it. New piece around my neck is chess games. The shorty stay with calculated moves like Beth Harmon. Swear I'm on purple rain prince than Prince Charming. Disappointment, I stay expecting it. The pessimist gold medalists flush the magnets just so they not collecting my specimens. Damn. The way she with Poppy, man, you would think she's a veteran on remembrance. Cleaning lady sweeping room daily for all the evidence to everything I ever did. Do they have a pool there? Do they have a gym there? You used to do skincare, but now you do swimwear. Your ex roommate got a condo that's downtown, but she got no furniture in her crib. I've been there. Checkmate, even though you hate that I even check, I still get an E for effort. Only time I played it back and forth is a Leah record. If I let you talk first and nobody is speaking second, fluent and passive aggression, that's why you act in the smiths of hearing me out for once will require you actually listen. Damn. The boy is back, I never turn my back. I just slapped him, so now all that they see is my back. Say that damn Maybach bands with me in the back. When I wasn't accurate, I still couldn't clean on my act. Whenever I tell the truth, you feel like you're being attacked, but that come with being attached, so how about we leave it at that? If you're gonna waste your time, then waste your time with me. this part of the toilet I am judging you <laughs> So I won't be cleaning the kitchen because Babe Ray took care of that. He did the kitchen, the living room, cleaned out the ninja, the air fryer, all that good stuff. So, yeah. Basically, I'm saying either way we about to slide. Hey, this Don't you want to dance with me? And he 
also cleaned out our cars inside and out. I just love this man. And my man, thank you to my man. All right, so we are finally winding down for the night. I'm gonna find me a good little vlog to watch and fold up all these clothes. We just got back from vacation, so I have to take all this stuff out of my suitcase and put up the clean clothes and put the dirty clothes in a dirty hamper. Y'all do not laugh at my suitcase. I know I am missing a D on my name. I don't know how that came off, but it did. But anyway, so yeah, I'm about to put up all of my stuff and start folding up these clothes. If only cleaning could really go this fast, like, ugh. So this is a little last minute, but we're back to laundry. Um, I guess we didn't do my son's clothes yet, but we did our clothes in the towel. So now I'm separating all of his, to not toys, <laughs> separating all his clothes. And this little mesh bag has been a lifesaver literally since birth. Y'all know how your babies be losing their socks and washcloths and stuff like that. I usually put them all in this mesh bag whenever they go in the washing machine, in the dryer. And then once I fold up my clothes and I can just match all his socks and I usually have majority of his socks still left. Thank God and thank God to this bag, honestly, cause that's really what's been saving me. Like it cross it got a piece. Got a dance, but it's really on some street shit. I'ma show you how it go right foot up, left foot slide, left foot up, right foot slide. Basically, I'm saying either way, we about to slide. Hey, killing this side. Don't you wanna dance with me? No, I could dance like Michael Jackson. So now I'm going through my hygiene bag that I use on vacation. And I'm just taking everything out so I can put it back in its place. But all good things do have to come to an end. So this is the end of this video. And I hope you guys really did enjoy it as much as I enjoyed creating it. I hope you guys decide to subscribe to my channel and also give it a like and share to your family and friends as well too. And leave a comment and let me know what's y'all's favorite thing to clean in your house. Like I absolutely hate doing the dishes, but I will clean the bathrooms like it is no tomorrow, okay? But I love you guys and thank you guys so, so much for all the love that you have been giving me on my past few videos. We have finally reached 636 subscribers and I love every single one of you guys. Like I am so appreciative. And as always, I wanted to shout out a subscriber. Her at name is at home with Lisa, Lisa 7294. Y'all go hit her up, go subscribe to her channel. She puts out all things home related. So definitely go check her out. But all right, you guys, stay blessed, stay motivated, and we are on the road to 1K. Show you how to get it, it go right foot up, left foot slide.